Hi, Tobias Walter again, Technical Service Representative here at SVSI. Today I want to talk to you about a really cool new software product we have that's in all of our come standard and all of our encoders and decoders called Enact. This will allow you to send controls to lighting, it will send you send controls to projectors, to the screens for the projectors, to drop them to displays. You can even change the temperature in your offices through this Enact software. So we actually want to show you kind of a demonstration and, and even uh, how to set it up in our conference room here, we're going to be able to lower the screen behind me, turn on the projector, and actually display the image from this laptop through just simply connecting our uh, source to our encoder. So first you're going to want to go and you're going to, going to want to find your enable software and go to the encoder that you want to set these commands on. Once there, you're going to uh, go to the enact uh, menu within the encoder. Then you see there you'll have the multiple types of events. You can have a power on event, a DVI connect event, or a DVI disconnected event. The power on event will be similar to just like the device powering up and if you wanted it to be able to do one of these events as it powers up. Then the DVI connected would be what we're going to show you today where you can actually plug in the DVI cable or HDMI as we have right here into your source and it will cause the event to happen and then when we disconnect it we're going to see that the event will happen. So first thing we're going to do here is we have to type in different types of commands. They're all going to be TCPI ASCII commands. So we'll start with the first one under DVI connected. I'm going to add that command in. Okay, now I've got the first command in. The next command, when I want to add more commands, all I have to do is simply go to the add new button underneath that command. And I'll add a new command. Now, I'm going to continue configuring these commands, updating the port and the data set. Now, the data set here that I'm using, I'm actually using, we're going to go through a global cache system that will allow us to control these devices that technically aren't actually network devices on our, on our AV network. And then lastly, I'm going to put in the IP address of the decoder and the ports there so that I can turn on the projector that's connected to the decoder and set the stream of the decoder to match the stream of my encoder so that when I'm done, I have that. After I've configured all of that, I notice here we have um, a DVI connect disconnected event, so I'm going to move down there. I'm going to configure all my DVI disconnected. So I'm going to have to set the IPs again, set the different port numbers, then I'm going to put in the commands and I'm going to continue to add commands here until I'm done. Just give me one second so I can get all these commands in. Okay. Now I have all my commands configured here within my system. Once I have all the commands configured, I'm going to go to the trigger delays. Now what the trigger delays do for me is I can either have with zero, which is what's under my DVI connected event, and have it just happen immediately, or I can set in seconds a delay time for it to happen. This is, becomes very important with, I think, the DVI disconnected event in this situation. Because you don't want, if for say for some reason someone accidentally bumps your cable and pulls it loose, you don't want everything to shut off. You want to still be able to maintain that for at least a period of time. Um, the normal delay I would recommend would probably be like a minute, 60 seconds here, but for, for, for this video we're actually going to use 5 seconds. Alright, so now that we have our trigger delay set, we actually need to go to the top of our screen and we need to enable our events because none of the events are going to work until we've actually enabled them. So I just simply select that checkbox. Now, we have them enabled, we have all our events in the way we want them, and in order to keep them saved into our system, obviously we have to save the events. So we're going to go down to the bottom and we're actually going to save our events. And so now the events are saved. Now, one really cool feature that we can try out here right before, before we actually show you the events happening and is to make sure that our events are configured correctly. So in order to do that, we have this button called Test. So first right now, right now for you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to test my DVI connected event. As you see that behind me, the screen is actually coming down. My projector is coming on. And when all this, when this is actually done, you'll see that my projector will be showing host play. 
Now the reason it's showing host play is because we have not connected our source yet, and that's simply what happens when our encoder is talking to our decoder, but there's no source connected. So give this one second. And there you go, you can see kind of coming in behind me the host play image showing on my projector. Alright, so we've tested that, we know that that's good. Now, remember the trigger delay is not going to happen when I hit test for DVI disconnected because the trigger delay is actually ignored during the test. But now I want everything to go back off, I'm going to test that. My screen starts to go up, my projector is going to shut off. All right, so now what do you say we actually try these events out? All right, so now we've tested our scripts, we've, we've got everything inputted, we make sure everything's good, we know it's going to work right. Now let's make that magic happen. Let's take our HDMI cable, let's plug it into our laptop, make it the source, and let's, ha let's watch all this happen. Here we go. Make the connection, computer recognizes, the encoder recognizes that the computer's connected, and down comes our projector screen and here comes our projector coming on. Notice my hands are free, I've done nothing other than plug in. Projector's warming up here. You can see that on the screen. And look, there you go, my extended desktop coming into focus. I can just move my mouse over there. You can see I have my mouse on here moving around. If I wanted to drag a picture or something, I could drag it over here. I could put my PowerPoint presentation. Anything that I had to show to my executive staff, I could present that to them. And then when I'm done, without an act, I gotta get a remote out, I gotta turn off my projector, I gotta go raise my screen. But because I have an act and because I've set up the DVI disconnected events, I don't have to do that. I simply thank you gentlemen for, for, for hearing my presentation and I unplug my source and in five, four, three, two, one. My event happens, my screen is raised, my projector's cut off for me. And now all I have to do is on the way out within this conference room is hit the light. But with the use of global cache through our system, <laughs> And Act even allows you, makes it so you don't even have to do that. I hope this helps out. I hope this makes your next presentation and you can wow your executive staff in your next presentation. Thanks.